Uh, my younger brother is a bit of a cabbage hater. Yeah. But look, red cabbage is so beautiful. I think it deserves a second chance. This is the Tech Interactive at Home. I know, my biologist friend Anya will help me prove him wrong. I'm in. We can use this humble veggie to make watercolors that change color. Your brother will be a cabbage head in no time. We'll just need a knife, a pot, some water, and a strainer. First, we'll chop up the cabbage and simmer it. The liquid will start to turn blurple. That's our pigment. Let's concentrate it by evaporating some of the water. Now, let's get rid of those chunks. This special veggie is pH sensitive. It will change color if you add an acid or a base. So let's gather some to test. For paint making, we'll need a substrate, something that gives it substance, like flour, and a binder, something that helps the pigment stick to the paper. This maple syrup might work. I'll be using honey. Let's mix a bowl of your binder, substrate, and pigment liquid, then stir it well. We'll portion it into some small containers and use acids and bases to make a variety of different colored paints. Our paints will need a day or two to dry. So, rather than sitting here watching paint dry, let's take some notes about our process so we can know what to change next time. Once dry, we can use them just like any other watercolors. Look what I painted. Your brother is gonna love that painting. Yeah.